Hey yo, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. It's your boy Jesse Keegan. And your girl Fanny Lungo. And we are Fanny and Jesse. Jesse. So right about now we're gonna do another reaction video. But before we get into the reaction, guys, I wanna say thank you for everybody for everyone out there who've been subscribing. You guys are super amazing. Thank you for uh getting us to 21,000 subscribers and for the people who are giving us comments in the comment section below, you guys are also amazing. So today we're gonna do a reaction video and this one is we're gonna do Logan Paul. Uh, okay, Andrew Chet calls out Logan Paul. So without any further ado, guys, let's get it. And Jake Paul said, I don't roll with Tate. I don't, yeah. I'd love to knock his ass out. He said something like that. Yeah. But then he said, but what I do support is, free speech. you know, free, free speech. speech. But yeah. then his brother said something else. His brother said, you know, the shit that Andrew Tate says will have a ripple effect much more dangerous than you can imagine because his narrative is truly hateful. His rhetoric has extreme negative energy in it and it will affect impressionable young people that won't show for years from now and it's dangerous now this is what he says is this right? logan paul you're but, saying but but i want to yeah. i want to say this before you comment on it and then junior supported you tucker supported you i think the guys that like debate and comedians people who appreciate humor yeah. can understand that some of the stuff you're saying is funny as hell you yeah. could be a comedian if you wanted to but yeah. a person has to really pay attention yeah. to the comedy but you know, some some can run with it, some cannot run with it. Yeah. When you hear the people that support and don't support you, how do you process that? So first things first, I want to get very, very clear that Logan Paul is absolutely not really a tool of the matrix. He's a bought and sold individual with no soul. He doesn't stand up for anything and he doesn't mean anything he says. He gets pieces of paper from Susan or whoever else telling him what he's allowed to say on his channel to retain you it. You believe that? A hundred percent. Not only do I believe it, he's proved it himself. He will flip flop on any issue. He can be bought and sold. The dude's a bitch. Logan Paul is a bitch, and I will say that here publicly. If anyone wants, I'll fight him for free. The guy's an idiot. No money needed to no fight Logan needed. Paul. Logan Paul doesn't believe in any of the things he says. Logan Paul is a man, if you ever were unfortunate enough to consume his content, I get sent clips of it all the time by people mocking him. As soon as something comes out, whether it's Harry Styles wearing a dress, whether it's uh, little Naz twerking on the devil, whether it's this... He just sits there and goes, yeah, this is great. Yeah, this is great. He is a talking piece. He is the mouthpiece for the agenda. The people have come along, people who are trying to force a narrative, and they said, look, we need to have some degree of control over the exact demographic that Tate has control over. We're going to use Logan Paul and attempt to use him. And he sits there and just purports the bullshit points of view that the whole Hollywood establishment want him to purport. He doesn't believe in the things he said. Mm. He's told what to say. And because he was canceled before and it emotionally destroyed him, he yeah. sat on camera crying his eyes out like a little girl instead of being a man about it. He is so fearful of the mob and so scared of being canceled again that he's going to sit there and say anything he's told. He doesn't believe that shit. Before I was canceled, him and his boyfriend, Mike, did endless videos supporting me, laughing about me, saying how funny I was, tagging me on Instagram, inviting me places, etc. The second I'm canceled, they flip reverse it and shit themselves because they don't want to get canceled too. They are children. That's all they are. So Logan Paul's a bitch. That's the first thing about Logan Paul. And what's actually been interesting about this whole cancellation thing is it hasn't negatively affected me in any serious way because I've been saying on podcasts for years, I know a cancellation is coming. I knew it was coming. I knew that as I got more popular and more mm. powerful to a degree that it was going to come. But what it has done is it has awoken the world to anyone who's perspicacious enough to pay attention to learn which individuals out here in the social media space actually have character and believe what they say and which are completely bought and sold and are tools to the matrix. The people who have decided to stand up for me and say, no, this is bullshit are people who have to some degree credibility. You know, this is, this is people who say what they truly believe. But the people who were totally a fan and then post cancellation shit themselves in 180 and get a new piece of paper to talk from, that should tell out the public out there exactly who is controlled and whether these people have a, a genuine narrative that they're trying to report on the world. And it's interesting. Logan's one of them and there's a few others. But I'm glad it happened just for that alone because it's actually very clear. If you go to Logan Paul's last podcast where he's discussing me, all of his fans, and I will, we'll talk about fans and viewers in a minute because I think they're very different things. All of his fans, which he has none of, all of his viewers are sitting there insulting him, saying, bro, you're your fucking bitch. Like everyone, all of his own watchers are calling him names because it's so transparent and so obvious what he's doing. Fans versus viewers. Fans versus viewers, very different things. So he, he doesn't have any fans. He has viewers. And Susan and the Matrix and the people in charge of social media companies are like, OK, we've set our media machine. Let me ask you guys questions as professionals. Let's assume as professionals. Let's assume what I'm saying is correct. Let's assume that the social media companies, when they banned me, set their media machine to all release thousands of news articles at the same time, trying right. to convince the world I'm an evil man. If they had that degree of power and influence, which I think we can all probably agree they do, 
don't you think they'd take their number one talking piece to the demographic, which is my fan, and give him a piece of paper and tell him what to say? Does that not make sense? Does that make sense to say, well, we told all the news to say Tate's bad, and all of his fans are 18 to 25-year-old men. Who do we have on YouTube who obeys us like a little cock who, who could speaks to 18 to 25-year-old men? Logan Paul. Okay, Logan, here's your piece of paper. Do you want to get canceled again, Logan? No, you don't want to get canceled, do you? No, no, Mom. You're saying a call no. like that was made? 100%. The dude's a bitch. He, he 180 from a super fan to, to talking about my rhetoric being dangerous but there's in, a in 24 hours. There's a difference between you saying who you think he is versus you making the speculation that he got called by somebody to say, here's a narrative we want you to take or else we'll silence you. Well, Logan is not capable of independent thought. So if someone didn't give him the narrative, he didn't think it up himself. The dude's an empty vessel. He says what he is told to say. Somebody, somewhere, told Logan what to say and what stance to take. We can argue whether it was a social media company, whether it was his manager who was fearful, right. whether whatever. But somebody sat with Logan and said, look, Tate's getting a lot of smoke. You were cool with him. Your boyfriend, Mike, was cool with him. He's getting a lot of smoke right now. You're going to bitch out. And he sat there and said, yes, sir. Yes, I will. Because he has no character or no integrity. If it was all the other way around, let's imagine he was getting canceled. And I truly believed it was unfair. I'd sit there on my own platform and say, this is bullshit because I'm not bought, sold, and owned. Mm -hmm. He's an owned individual. So he's always going to say what he is told to say. He's always going to sit on podcasts, speaking to the youth, promoting Harry Styles wearing a dress, saying that it's great that little Naz twerks on the devil in real time for our children to digest, and then say, I'm dangerous to the youth because that's what he's been told to say. Logan Paul has absolutely no capability for independent thought. And he has no character as a man. That's who Logan Paul is. If you enjoyed this video and you want to watch the entire podcast, click over here. And if you want to be connected with experts, influencers such as Kiyosaki, Tate, Connolly, Palminteri, myself, and others, download the app Minect, where you get a chance to connect with these folks by the minute. You get to buy the minute or have FaceTimes with them, 15 minutes, ask them any questions you may want to have. Download the app Minect and start connecting with influencers and experts today. What do you think? Um, I mean, it's a. Uh, so this is Logan versus Tate. I think that uh, we've clearly seen that there's a conflict between the two of them, and it's just that. Uh, Can I distinct? Yeah. Have you watched Logan's podcast? Yeah. You listen to it? Sometimes. No, no, not everything, but the one where he talks about Andrew Tate. Yeah, I think I did, yeah. Okay. That so, part, not everything. So what did you think? Because I haven't seen it. No, I mean, what what, what he said is, um, is more like trying to say that people shouldn't listen to Tate, like he's a dangerous person. Is that what he said? No, I mean... Logan. Yeah, Logan like that's what he was implying yes like it's going to create a uh, negative impact to the society and all those kind of things but well we understand we, we all know that ted is really not trying to bring negative impact to the society there, there are a mm -hmm. few things that you can disagree with him and people would disagree with you for saying that yes there are a few things that i can disagree with with what ted says but a lot more i would want to agree with him now uh, Logan Paul in the beginning phase of Tate, you know, being Tate and before he was banned and whatnot. When Logan was, was rising. Yeah, rising okay. and even when he was at the prime and whatnot. Logan was a fan. He was? Yes. He, I mean he, he I mean he kinda liked what Tate is doing and whatnot. Even the um even the other um Logan Logan's boyfriend. <laughs> uh, the Mike? friend Yeah, Mike. I mean, but Mike was so much on, uh, was talking so much about tech, you understand? Of course, Logan's an alpha, he doesn't want to talk more about a male Another figure, alpha. yes. So it was more like, not saying much, but just little. But of course, you can tell that um, at that time, there was tension between them fighting and whatnot. So you could tell like Logan well, who wasn't... Who wanted to fight who first? Who proposed it? I think just the fans were like Logan versus Ted and all this kind mm. of stuff. So... Um, you could tell like Logan wasn't really saying that much. He was reserving his comments and whatnot, of course. But the Mike guy was really saying like, I, I think Tate is a good guy. I think we should bring him on, on the podcast and all this kind of stuff. But again, also Logan was agreeing to all that. But now, all of a sudden, this guy is being banned. 
and then the narrative changes. So now you become the person who you're disagreeing with whatever Ted is saying and whatnot. Obviously, when you look clearly at Logan, you can tell that he's, he's into the mainstream media. And once you're into the mainstream media, there are some certain things that uh, you, you are told or you're obligated to stick to. Like you're given a script, stick to the script. You have to just obey and just do whatever you want to do, but don't cross the borders. So, of course, Tate was talking about so many things that go outside the outside the YouTube, um, what do you call it? Uh, YouTube restrictions and all those kind of stuff, you know. But don't you think Logan was only trying to um, or changed his opinion of Andrew because he's been cancelled before? Exactly. For that death thing. So you don't want to be involved with someone who's going to be your downfall again. Exactly, of course. Because um, for him, that's the only move he can make. Because again, he did what he did in Japan. And he was almost cancelled actually. He was cancelled. Yeah, he was cancelled. And then he put a video out there crying and whatnot. So uh, for Andrew Tech to be burned... To be banned and um, him doesn't want I mean he doesn't want to be part of that because he knows that I was there before yeah. and I was almost I mean I was cancelled you get it so the only way is to try and defend the act that you know um, go with the masses yes go with the masses and whatnot so yeah not actually the masses let me go with the elite let me go with YouTube, let me go with Instagram and all those kind of things. And one, once again, you have to realize that someone like Logan Paul, if you look at the um, the uh, the platform that is in there, the pla platform that is even big, those are the same platform that banned who? Uh, mm -hmm. Those are the platform that banned uh, Ted, mm -hmm. Andrew Ted, you okay. understand? So you can't side with someone who is banned on the platform that you have high numbers, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube, do you understand? That's where all your bread is coming from. That's where you talk to your fans. Do you understand? Neither did they know that this this dead guy, he was he had money even before this YouTube scene and all those kind of stuff. So it doesn't stop him to become who he was or he or or, or who he wants to become or whatnot. So anyway, I think uh, the whole thing is just uh, it's entertainment, drama, and all those stuff. You know. Maybe this guy's talk. I was maybe actually guy's... going to say that. Yeah. I feel like maybe yeah. if maybe Logan also switched his opinion because it's marketing yeah. for him. It's marketing He's going because... to get more viewers towards his side. Yeah, because traffic, whatever not. And I think everyone wins. They can sit like this, yeah. speak the way they're speaking, but not everything is the way it is as we see it out here. They could be the best of friends. Maybe they're exactly. laughing at us I mean, after they, doing they this. They talk just know? like these politicians. One day they talk about each other. Then next, next day behind uh, whatever drink they go tea. drink tea together. They discuss what can we do to these masses. How can we confuse them? The same thing that is happening in this me, uh, mainstream media whatever situation. Look, Logan won. Uh, Andrew Tech won. He went to Rumble. He's, he's given lots of money to just advertise like, yeah, a platform. Random. Yes, sorry. I mean, went to Rumble and was given lots of money to just advertise and whatnot. Do you, do you understand? What if Rumble is just another part of YouTube, <laughs> and we don't know? Do you understand? So there are so many ways. Uh, I mean, you can speculate all that, but what all I'm saying is this: uh, these guys, they can be best of buddies. They can be talking. It's just entertainment at the end of the day. And again, um, I feel like this is giving Logan and KSI vibes. Yes. Remember how it started out, and now that the best exactly of friends ish. And also, I'm saying this because um, attention is a new currency. You to get it. So the more attention you get, the more money you get. So exactly that's what is happening here. And also, I don't think Andrew says wild things. There's little truths if you choose to listen. But if you're ignorant and just listening to judge, then then you're going to miss out, miss out on a lot of things. So yeah, that's that. 
let us know what you want us to react to next drop the name or the link down below make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you in our next reaction video and deuces